So this was a uh, study that was published recently in the New England Journal of Medicine from three European countries. It was an ambitious study because they recruited a large number of people and randomized them to either usual care or a screening colonoscopy. Uh, the study's main finding was that compared to usual care, there was only a modest decrease in the risk of developing colon cancer after the colonoscopy and no change in the death rate from colon cancer between the two groups. The problem with the study was that in the group of patients who were assigned to have a colonoscopy, only about 40% of them followed through with the colonoscopy, meaning that 60% did not. Now, what they tried to do with the analysis was replicate what might happen in the real world, suggesting that if 100 people were offered a colonoscopy in their system, only 40 would follow through with it. But we know that from the US experience, the uptake for colonoscopy is much better. If you actually look at the preventive benefit of colonoscopy and the people who actually had the colonoscopy, rather than those who were assigned to have one, the protection rate was much better, it was on the order of about 50 to 60%. The other problem with the study was that the colonoscopies were done by a large number of practitioners, many of whom do not follow the same quality metrics that we do in the US. So one important measure is called the adenoma detection rate, which is among people who are having a colonoscopy, what proportion would find a precancerous polyp or an adenoma. The adenoma detection rate among the physicians who did the colonoscopies in this study was very variable with a significant number having what we considered to be low adenoma detection rates, meaning not great quality measures. So it would be difficult to extrapolate the results of this study to the US population for two reasons. One, only a small number, relatively small number of people end up having the colonoscopy. And two, the quality of the colonoscopies that were done were of variable quality. So we recommend that patients who don't have any other risk factors like a family history of colon cancer uh, undergo a screening colonoscopy beginning at about age 45. And if that's normal, having one every 10 years thereafter. If you have a family history of colon cancer, we typically start at a younger age, uh, usually around age 40. And colonoscopy in our experience in, in the UH system and across the United States is still the preferred screening test.